Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name's Jack and today we're back in Space Engineers, the best game on the planet. What are we doing today? Uh, we're, well, we're obviously in Space Engineers, but we're looking at a new mod. Yes, another mod. This time it's Secretan's Retractable Airtight Tunnel. My god, that's a mouthful. Anywho, let's get into it. Uh, if we look up here a minute, there's the biggest one you can get. Well, that's two actually. They're both ten, I think if the window is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you can see ten. I'd love to have to count that. Anywho, as the tunnels, they really look do, they really look amazing. The second did a brilliant job on this. It, it kind of reminds me of Star Wars in a way. You see these, especially in the Clone Wars, if you've watched that, you'll see these quite a lot. When they, like, dock ships and stuff. Or their boarding parties, they always use these to connect to another ship. Which is what I've got going over there with the blue ship, apart from an accident did happen. But yeah, it's there. So yeah, that's the main tunnel. Those are two there connected. And they are airtight. An update came out yesterday. Um, that they're now airtight, which is brilliant. And I'll show you that in this example here. This second example here. Anyway, this is the connector one. Basically, what we've done is we put this block here, which is called a docking block, here, as you can see. Then we've got the uh, tunnel 5, which is 5 long, here. And they connect. The docking block acts like a landing gear, so it kind of like clamps things in place. Though it can, I found so far, it can be a bit like weird to connect because it did rip off half my ship. The weirdest thing I found, I don't know if this is meant to be like this, but presuming seeing it's like a landing gear it is, if I do this, it breaks the entire thing. See? Not too good. I think because it obviously pulled the ship in, but I don't know if it, whether it was meant to pull the ship in, but I would, I don't know really because ideally a feature where you can't pull the ship might be a good idea, but that might be a whole different situation. So yeah, what what it might do is you could um, retract like pistons or landing gears to then dock onto a ship, then lock the land uh, the tunnel in place. That way you can avoid the tunnel pulling the other ship in, because you'd have the other landing gears there counteracting it. Though I don't know if that would work. We'd have to test that another day. Anyway, I'll show you the basic setup over here in a minute. This is my compromise to the airtight thing, because I did make this video or attempt to make this video yesterday when the airtight update wasn't out. So I was like, hmm, how do I keep the air in my little room? So I made this, and I've just turned down this off. Now I think, um... Nope, I've turned it all on. There we go, if I turn this on, so that will lower the door. This also quite, uh, looks quite cool as well. Because when you look at these, it's kind of like, ah, open space. Uh-oh. Now if we activate this, this, and this, we can walk through here. And there you go. This is how the tunnels work. But we're going to speed up my walking because walking like that is stupid. So yeah. And you, you all control it by these control panels obviously. So if I do this and this, it tracks that tunnel. Ta-da. Anyway, now we've got the airtight set up over here. So this is my oxygen set up here. Little thing. If we go over to here, we're also using Sakatin's airtight doors. Because they're amazing. Seriously, look at these. It just it, like, it says sci-fi all over basically. Please, will the air don't blow out on me. Oh, did that? No. Yes. No, it didn't. Right, so we're in this room here. Now, here's your oxygen generator, of course. And um, big blast doors, and I think this is the button to lower them. Uh, that one. Yes. Now, the only problem I have with this airtight thing is, I thought when the tunnels were connected, they were going to be airtight, but no. Just when they're in this status here, they're, like, airtight here. Because, look, I can go here, open space bit weird, right? Or for some reason I'm showing oxygen here. So a bit weird. See, oxygen shows here. And it shows all the way... Yeah, it shows all the way for the tunnel to go out. So when I press this button, basically the oxygen runs all the way over to here. Now I step here. Yep, see, no oxygen. I don't know if that's a bug at the minute, but personally I'd have it so the oxygen can't be in here unless this one over here is connected like so. So you'd need these two connected to have oxygen in it. See, at the minute, it's a cutoff point here. But I suppose you've got limitations in the modding of what you can actually do. But anyway, this is kind of just like a little look at what the mod's currently got to offer. Second's done a brilliant job on this. Definitely I'll be using this in some builds soon. Uh, probably on the Eclipse. If you haven't seen that one already, go check it out on my channel. So yeah, well done Seconden. I'm loving this mod. Also your doors as well, I use them on nearly every ship I have. So these are brilliant. All the airs probably gonna get sucked out now. 
Oh well. Oh no, it went anyway. Bye bye. So yeah, these just look brilliant because they kind of say Star Wars to me, which is cool. Alright people, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, go check Executed on the Steam Workshop. He's got a Steam group as well where you can keep up to date with all of his mod releases. That's how I know when he released this because I hadn't heard of this until that little uh, Steam group thing popped up and said Retractable Tunnel and I immediately thought Star Wars. So I went and checked it out. Alright people, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like rating. La la la. Goodbye.